As Central Texas continues to experience extreme drought conditions and restricted water use, a Travis County resident was recently alarmed seeing this, a water tower overflowing thousands of gallons into the street on several occasions. KXAN investigates discovers why the tower was releasing the water and what those in charge of the tower are doing to keep it from happening again. And this is a, a special soaker hose designed for trees. It's not lost on David Way. Okay. Slow watering process. That while he methodically works to save his oak tree on his designated watering day, okay. this has been going on at the water tower just feet from his western Travis County home. My guess is untold thousands of gallons. Spilling over the overflow tank and running down the street. The waste of water in this time of drought is simply not okay to let that keep happening. He recorded it because he says over about a two week period recently, it happened often, sometimes daily. Saturday and Sunday. Each time he says he contacted Crossroads Utility to report it. 246 1400. So that you've got it memorized. <laughs> oh yeah, it's on speed dial on my phone. And they say, we'll refer this to the right person. That's usually what you get. While Crossroads operates and maintains the facility, Travis County Water District 10 owns it. The district's general manager, Carlo Orts, tells me the water tower overflowed five times, starting on Thanksgiving weekend. How much water was wasted isn't clear, but Orts says it could be an estimated 100,000 gallons. And these, she says, are to blame. Not these specifically, but squirrels, she says, damaged the communication line linking the water tower to a water tank at a different location that fills it. In short, the water tower wasn't able to send the automated shutoff command telling the water tank it was full. So the water kept coming. When the overflows first started, the general manager says workers made a repair, but days later, she says, squirrels again damaged the line, leading to another overflow. Workers then replaced the copper line with an updated fiber line, cutting off communication during installation, which resulted in even more overflows. The general manager says once communication equipment compatible with the new fiber line comes in, the problem should be resolved. And that, uh gives it a chance to soak in and actually benefit the tree. Way says he now has a better understanding of why the overflows kept coming despite his repeated calls. I felt like nothing was happening with this problem. And the general manager for the water district tells me Crossroads Utility was manually operating the system to prevent additional overflows while they waited for the equipment compatible with the new fiber line. She contacted me again to say the part arrived and, and was installed just yesterday, which should, she says, solve the overflow issue. Because of this experience, she says the district is working to upgrade the communication lines at two other water towers in the district. The general manager says the overflows did not impact customers' water service. We got this story idea through a tip. If you have something that you want us to check out, scan that QR code on your screen, or you can email us at report it at kxan.com. We always